he cannot say when he's going to come back, depending on the situation in Western world. Because Bangladesh mostly exports to Europe, USA, Australia, and has some Western country, and Japan also here. So this Europe and uh, America, U.S. market is really bad. It totally depends how the things develop. So the stores are closing down. Nobody wants to take the deliveries. Uh, so that's why I think you shall have to wait uh, when the situation becomes better. And hopefully these buyers, they will buy their goods. They may be asking us to hold these things. But the moment things are better, they will start taking these things. So my request to the buyers also through you, they should be. They should support us at this crisis uh, moment, and they may help us. They can pay effort, but they should not cancel. Finally, cancel the orders. Let's wait for the better days. I mean, the things should, would be better, so we can mm-hmm. ship these same goods to them. So that's everybody shall right. have to be at this problem. I mean, right. at this situation. Right, sir. I think they're grappling with their own demand problems at this juncture. I just want to quickly understand your whole supply chain equation because. 60% of your raw material supplies uh, come in from China. So how is that equation panning out in terms of the supplies that are coming in from China, given that uh, China is, uh, uh, you know, returning to normalcy and, uh, you know, there is a resumption in production facilities that's coming through? That's one angle to the story. 60% of your export earnings are um, directed towards Europe. And so what are your clients, some of which who may have cancelled your orders, saying about the demand environment there? Uh, on how they want to manage the situation right now. So both ends. You see, the supply chain is now becoming better. So uh, from well, most of our goods, more than um, around 60% of our material comes from China. So that is becoming better. But the finally, to end market is not that good. So supply chain, if it is, our supply chain is better, but that's not going to help us. We shall have to uh, ship the goods, which is not good. So, and China, day by day, every day it is becoming better. The workers have gone, come back to the factories. So now his major problem with us is to is how to ship it. And then the production already we made, the fabric was, and accessories came quite bad, two, three months back. Mm-hmm. So now the final production, they, have, they are asking not, not to ship. So the, mm-hmm. I, finally we are waiting to the improvement in the Western world. Europe is 60%, as you said, so, and USA. So let's wait for the end market. The moment it is improved, I think supply chain, we can, yeah. we can manage, we can uh, organize that thing. So we should have to wait yeah. for the end market things. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.